We get things started in the women's super bantamweight division in a fight scheduled for three three-minute rounds. She has watched her brother and training partner reach championship status and enters the glory ring for the very first time. Here is Alina Pavana. Here's our tale of the tape for our opening contest here on the Glory Super Fight Series. It's five versus six, both of these fighters in their 20s, and it is the Brazilian who will have a five-inch reach advantage. Yep, I talked about the professional experience difference, and it's a huge one. 110 fights for the Thai fighter to only six for the Brazilian, but the Brazilian in only six fights with a 20% KO ratio. Here are the rules. Three rounds, three minutes each. Punches, kicks, and knees with illegal strikes. Three knockdowns in a round or four in the fight results in a TKO. And the scoring for tonight's bouts are going to be using the following prioritized criteria, starting with knockdowns, followed by cumulative damage inflicted, followed by number of clean scoring strikes with an emphasis on spectacular techniques over normal scoring techniques. Finally, if there's no clear advantage, judges look for aggression. We will have open scoring tonight. Three judges scoring the fight on the 10-point must system, and the scores will be shown on your screen after each round. We are once again scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the women's super bantamweight division, and introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. She's a Brazilian national amateur champion who in Miami tonight makes her glory debut. Her professional record, five wins with just one loss. One of those wins coming by way of knockout. At five feet, nine inches tall, 1.75 meters. She weighed in at 120.8 pounds, 54.8 kilograms. Here tonight, fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Please welcome Alina Pereira. Here now is her opponent fighting out of the white corner, one of the most decorated women on the Thai Muay Thai circuit. Listen to this professional record, 92 wins with 17 losses, one bout scored even, and 15 of those wins coming by way of knockout. At five feet, five inches tall, 1.65 meters, she weighed in at fight time at 121.4 pounds, 55.1 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of Bangkok, Thailand. Here is Chomani Sia Sotera. And your referee in charge of this bout, Alan Abelese. Judge, Hector, ready. John, ready. Daniel, ready. Fight! So we'll get this party started. They don't even touch gloves. Straight away, Sor Tehran in the white gloves. The newcomer, Eleni Pereira in the black. Yeah, that big height difference. And right away, you're going to see Chamonix use her kicks, where Eleni Pereira is going to want to come in with aggressive boxing. Pereira four inches taller than her Thai counterpart. This is where she wants to stay, Joe. Way outside, of, away from those knees. Yep, you're gonna see Shamini try to mix in those kicks, good left kicks as well. But Shamini still really new to, to kickboxing rules, so there is a little nerves for her. She's used to being able to throw her elbows, play in the clinch a little bit more. Not in glory rules. Eleni's thrown probably six to eight punches. I don't know if she's touched her once. Yeah, you're gonna see Pereira use really good front kicks, and that's the way she closes her distance for her hands and her knees. Tehran being very patient so far. Wanting to see what this Brazilian has in store for him. Tehran's going to use feints and try to see what Pereira's doing. Thai fighter needs to stay out or in. Don't sit in mid-range punching range. Sor Tehran said her best strike is the left kick. And she's just comfortable staying against the ropes, trying to counter kick and punch. Pereira, a former Brazilian Stop. Stop. national amateur champion, said her goal in life is for her and her brother to simultaneously hold glory world titles. 
Pretty sure Alex can keep up his end of the bargain. Let's see what Eleni has to offer. Yeah. Still really new in her career, so she's got a big stage to try to perform. The nerves of having her brother, being Alex Pereira, fighting on the big stage. A lot of pressure for someone with only six professional fights. Those Thai fighters begin when they're young children. And Shomani Sor Tehran, no different, started fighting at the age of eight, but didn't turn pro until 19. So Joe, in five years, she has had almost 110 professional fights. And yeah, they must have mixed in her amateur as well. I can't see that. But you can see, look at Tai Tehran's forehead. Something must have happened. I think it was a headbutt clash. You can see a hematoma building up on that forehead. Big mouth right in the center of the forehead. You're right, Joe. And I think it was a headbutt in this corner right near us. Well, we learned that Carrera has the harder head. Let's see if they get an inswell on it. Yep, they're going to have to. I mean, she's fought with elbows before, you know, most of her fights, so she's probably used to taking damage like that. Or maybe not. Do you really get used to getting punched in the face like that? Well, it's 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 comfort thing. I mean, it's like the first time you get cut. It's difficult. Well, she is nicknamed Sia, and she won a million baht, which is the Thailand dollar, translates into about thirty-two thousand U.S. dollars. But in 2015, that's a big deal over there. Won a million baht tournament. <laughs> that hematoma. Looks like a cut for Pereira. Yeah, that headbutt must have gave both of them damage, but Alina Pereira, former national amateur champion, so she does have 24 amateur fights, six professional. Seconds out, seconds out. She even has her father in the corner with her tonight. Referee trying to call the doctor in to take a look at that. Apparently, he already looked at it. He said she's okay to fight. So here's round two, scheduled for three. See, soon see who won that first round. Not a lot of action. All three giving it to Pereira. I think it's because Pereira's pressing a little bit more. Tiger Man, more counter fighting. Trying to rely on her clinching knees. Tehran was allowed. I think she just pulled Pereira and just threw knees all night long. And it's, it's tough because she's the shorter fighter, but that's where she's got to use her hand kicks. for Pereira. Yep, that's the aggressive style she needs, that she's known for. Boy, she does look a lot like her brother, especially when she throws those long, straight punches. Oh, yeah. Even if you look at their Instagrams, they're hitting bag work. It looks almost identical. Southpaw for a second. Kickboxing's interesting, Joe, because Pereira's style would be perfect for fighting a Dutch fighter, but you can't always just go in there and bang it out. Sometimes you got to play the finesse game with the Thai fighter. Yep, and an experienced one, too. Some of our more dominant champions, you know, our Thai fighters, Pitch Panamero. We had Sidichai. Sor Tehran, one of the most decorated female fighters ever to come out of Thailand. Ask Pereira about those blue ribbons. You know, her brother known as the Jaguar, they're so intense. She said, well, I think they're cute. I'm still a girl, I'm not as rough as my brother. I'm the female Jaguar. Alex Pereira always has that mean look on his face, but this week was a little bit more social and talkative. Her older brother Alex took her to the gym one day. She said she wanted to try it. And he said, listen, after her first workout, I knew she could be a professional. She was that good. She had her first amateur fight just 30 days after her first class. I don't think you'd recommend that for any of your students. <laughs> no. Stop! 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 When you're Alex Pereira's brother, it's 100% all the time. 20 seconds to go here in round two. A little bit more pressure.
pressure now from Shama. Rare with the knee as she came in, and that'll do it for the second round. Make sure you subscribe to Glory Kickboxing on Snapchat. On Snapchat, you can see some of the best knockouts in all of combat sports, great highlights, anything you want Glory related, you can find it there. And it's easy to find our address, glorykickboxing.com. Just type that in and hit the subscribe button. And now we're gonna see that headbutt, Joe, from round one. Yeah, they came in really aggressively. Boom, that's the clash right there, right in the middle of Sore Tyran's head and a little cut over Pereira's left eye. But second round, you know, we saw Shamini come out a little bit more aggressive now, putting it together, but Pereira's doing a good job at controlling the distance. Alex Pereira not in the corner of, her, of his sister, but he is in the front row of the stands and he's barking out instructions and she's looking at him right now. So Pereira still doing the coaching job for his younger sister. This is the third and final round. Aggressive third round. They both maybe feel they need to do a little bit more to steal this third round. Oh, nice front kick from Pereira, followed left hook. Go down. <laughs> Minute 40 to go here in round number three. Herrera now getting more aggressive, pressuring, letting her hands go. from Pereira, but Stop. ending up in the clinch. How do you deal with someone with that kind of reach who's coming right after your guns blazing? You kind of got to move, use your angles, front kicks, and try to pivot off. There's brother Alex, front row and center, barking instructions in Portuguese. He defends his title later tonight. Stop. Rory 68 actually going for another title up the weight class, a light heavyweight. A minute to go. Shamani Sor Teheran needs to find something here. Now Shamani's letting her kicks go. There's that crashing of distance again that caused that cut in head. Ibotoma. Solid right hand for Pereira. 15 seconds to go. Pereira's glory debut ended in a winning fashion as she lands a couple of punches. Her boxing is obviously way better than their, the Thailand fighter for Tehran. And that will do it. We'll go to the judges' scorecards. Brother Alex thinks she got the job done. What say you, Joe? Yeah, I think so. She came forward aggressive with her boxing, you know, went after it a little bit more. So I got to give the decision to Aline Pereira. All right. What Joe says, though, matters not when it comes to the official scoring. When we return, Tim Hughes with the decision. You're watching the Glory Super Fight Series from Miami.
We welcome you back to South Florida as we look at our highlights from our opening contest here on the Glory Super Fight Series. It was the debut of Aline Pereira. Yep, came aggressive with her hands, but got tied up in the clinch a lot. There was a little headbutt, which, you know, we saw a hematoma on the forehead of Shamanis Sorhai Taran. But Ale uh, Alina Pereira kept coming forward, kept pressuring. Seemed to be her best weapon is her boxing. And I really like her front kicks. That was my favorite. Probably move in the fight, the front kick follow left hook for Pereira. But Thai fighters like to clinch up to avoid the boxing. That's what Chamonix tried to do in this fight, but didn't seem like she did enough. Here are the strike count statistics. Punches leaning heavily in favor of Pereira. Kicks and knees, the edge goes to Chamonix Sorte Haran. Strikes by zone, Pereira targeting the head. Tohran, the body. Here's Tim Hughes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of kickboxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here now are the totals. They score this bout 29, 28, 29, 28, and 30, 27, all for your winner by unanimous decision. Alina Pereira! Alina Pereira, 1-0 in glory, a win in her debut with this organization. All smiles. It's hard to get a smile out of a Pereira, I'll tell you that. But she's very happy right now. So, too, is her older brother. All right, I'm here with your winner, Alina Pereira. You've got to be happy with your first win in glory. Estou muito, muito, muito feliz. Quero agradecer ao Glory pela oportunidade. E agora só esperar meu irmão dar o show dele. I'm really, really happy. I just want to thank Glory for the opportunity to fight on the best league in the world, and I just want to wait for my brother to see his win too. What happened in that second? Uh, I believe it was the headbutt that happened in the round. Did that affect you any bit? No. Não afetou nada, não. You didn't do anything for me. How is it having your brother here watching you? Does it make you a little extra nervous, a little bit more pressure for you? No, no me deixa mais nervosa. Eu gosto quando ele fica do lado. E é isso aí. He doesn't get me nervous. I actually enjoy when he's by my side. All right, well, congratulations. Excited to see you in the ring. Let's hear it for Aline Pereira. Six and one overall, and she navigated her way through a very tricky debut against one of the best Muay Thai fighters to ever come out of Thailand.